This is how to black flash like a pro. To understand how to black flash, you must understand what a perfect block is, a perfect M1 and the black flash itself. In order to be able to get a perfect M1 or even a black flash for that matter, you must get a perfect block. To be able to perfect block, you must block an opponent right before they hit your block with an M1. This means you cannot get one if they try to front dash you or hit you with an ability. You can tell if you got a perfect block or not based on the sound. A sound indicator also plays when you hit a perfect M1. Now that you have a perfect block, there's three ways to lose a perfect block. The first way is by getting ragdolled, such as getting hit by normal punch or just simply 4M1s. The second way is getting perfect blocked yourself. And the third way is by activating a perfect M1 or black flash. Now, when you do a perfect M1, it takes your perfect block. However, in doing so, you start a hidden four second timer. During this time, if you are hit another perfect M1, it will instead turn into a black flash. Uppercut and down slam black flashes do exist. Perfect M1s and black flashes do not affect front dashes nor abilities. Also, the damage numbers are as follows. You do 3% for your first and second normal M1, and 4% for your third and fourth normal M1. For perfect M1s, it's 9% and 12% respectively. And for black flashes, it's 18% and 24% respectively. Atomic Samurai passive, which increases M1 damage to 5% and 6%, does not increase the damage of perfect M1s nor black flashes. Now that you have all of the information on it, how can you weaponize this? If you're doing 2v2s, the simplest way to start off is by having one of the teammates go to M1 the other person at the start of the game, allowing them to start off with a perfect block store, meaning you're able to just start your combo with a 9% or even 12% M1. Now, if it comes down to a 1v2, there are a few options. If your teammate were to stand on one side of the enemy while you stand on the other, they can M1 through the opponent, and you can use that to charge your perfect M1 and black flashes. Just be careful that if you and your teammate M1 the person for too long, the anti-team will kick in. Now, for an easier and more reliable method if you're using Tatsumaki. After you use Windstorm Fury, you have enough time to build up a perfect M1, as well as being able to do a Black Flash Down Slam on the opponent. With more testing, you may be able to find more situations where you can use it, probably such as after Stone Coffin, but we'll leave that up to you guys to figure out not only if it's even possible, but if it's viable as well.